Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Rolene Marks with the Israel Brief and a reminder that we are part of the bigger platform, Lay of the Land, and you can check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. Our social media, you can find us on Facebook at Lottle's site, on YouTube at the Israel Brief and on Twitter at Lay of the Land 5. And if you like our content, please consider liking us, following us and sharing and subscribing. But let's take a look at those top stories and we begin again with the highly controversial report by Amnesty International that has accused Israel of the practices of apartheid, the 280-page dossier who Amnesty International uh, won't reveal their researchers and writers of this report, nevertheless uh, has been roundly condemned from organizations as diverse as J Street, the Anti-Defamation League, the British Board of Deputies, the Australian Zionist Federation, the South African Friends of Israel, and many in between. But the US Department of State have also added their voice to the condemnation and have reached rejected as absurd the report and the language that it contains saying that the any attempts to label Israel as an apartheid state is absolutely absurd and they support um, Israel and the Jewish people's right to self-determination. Now that point is very very important because uh, in this report the report starts with the creation of Israel as a state as a nation state of the Jewish people in 1948 and accuses Israel of practicing apartheid from that very inception and uh, basically calls for a ban on the selling of arms to Israel to defend herself. So it is largely seen as not only grossly biased, inherently anti-Semitic, but also one uh, an attempt to deny Israel the right to defend herself. And according to the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition of anti-Semitism, which we know as IRA, this report falls squarely in the definition. But Amnesty International are also keen to have their say and they uh, quote unquote reject the barefaced lie that their report is anti-Semitic. Well we would just like to remind Amnesty International and the few fringe groups that do support them that uh, when you've got a consensus of Jews across the board and government officials condemning your report as anti-Semitic, it probably is anti-Semitic. And on the subject of anti-Semitism and other controversies, ABC, the network that hosts the uh, talk show, The View, has suspended Whoopi Goldberg, who is one of the panelists on The View. Whoopi made the highly, highly controversial statements on a show discussing uh, the Holocaust and the exclusion of the iconic book Mao's from the Tennessee schools as uh, the Holocaust being not about race, but rather white people against white people. Now, the issue of Jews and race is a very, very deep one. First of all, we cannot and must not forget that Jews were targeted specifically by the Nazis because we were seen as an inferior race. And when we look at Jews and race through the lens of intersectionality, Jews are often confused as being at the top or the pinnacle of uh, what many see as privilege, which negates the, uh, the Jewish experience, Jewish suffering, and is an attempt to cancel anti-Semitism as racism. Now, Yad Vashem, which is Israel's National Holocaust Museum and Memorial, have extended an invitation to Whoopi to visit, to learn, to educate herself about the Holocaust and issues of uh, race and the Jews around that and um my hope is that Whoopi will take these two week suspension to maybe do just that. I'm not a big believer in cancel culture. I, I don't think that it, uh, it allows us to have important conversations or solves anything. But uh, many are criticizing the fact that Goldberg was only 
uh, suspended for two weeks, saying people like Sharon Osborne or Roseanne Barr have been outright cancelled for a lot less. Piers Morgan, the very uh, vocal British talk show host and uh, journalist, said that, uh, you know, first of all, he outrightly condemns Whoopi Goldberg's statement, but reminds viewers that Sharon Osborne was uh, cancelled and also bullied offline and online uh, for her standing by him because he didn't believe uh, the comments made by the Duchess of Sussex in her interview with Oprah Winfrey. So we're going to watch this one very carefully. We're going to see how the conversation uh, around Whoopi Goldberg and the Holocaust develops. But one thing is for sure, all of this controversy has brought up a very, very important subject and that is the need for Holocaust education and also the fact that anti-Semitism is rising to absolutely astronomical levels and that when we talk about racism we absolutely have to include anti-Semitism in that spectrum. Now uh, some have joked about the propensity or the allegations made by certain members of Congress, that is Marjorie Taylor Greene, that uh, Jews have space lasers. But could this be a fact? Well, not necessarily a space laser, but definitely some kind of laser. Yesterday, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett announced that Israel uh, has successfully tested our laser system to shoot down incoming rockets and projectiles, and that within a year should be able to start rolling them out. Israel is going to start with rolling out these systems of lasers to shoot incoming rockets, mortars, UAVs, drones, etc. in the south. And the long-term plan is to surround the country with a barrier of lasers. And our final story is really, really positive, uh, and what a way to end this broadcast. And we can announce that the UK Trade Secretary, Anne-Marie Trevelyan, is in Israel for the next three days, where she will look to advance trade relations between Israel and the United Kingdom. She will meet with members of the Palestinian Authority as well. But ties between the United Kingdom and Israel are certainly going uh, to the next level over the last couple of months. There was that unprecedented co-penned article by Liz Truss, the Foreign Secretary, and our own Foreign Minister, Yair Lapid, just a couple of months ago in The Telegraph. And uh, Israel looks to the United Kingdom to be one of our strongest allies against Iran and Iran's propensity or uh, hegemony to try and uh, destroy Israel uh, through the use of perhaps nuclear arms and use of their proxy. We also want to thank the United Kingdom for proscribing the terror organization Hamas. So that is it for today's broadcast. Don't forget to check in with me tomorrow as I bring you those top stories from Israel every Monday to Thursday. I'm Raleen Marks with the Israel Brief, wishing you all a safe and healthy rest of your day.